A big thank you to Dr. Alex Falouz for teaching us why tuna is very important and how we are tracking them so we can develop a more sustainable fisheries. Now follow me! And now we're gonna see what it looks like when Dr. Felus and the Pickwick team go out to catch the tuna, tag them so we can learn how they travel through Palau's oceans. All right, so here we are. Uh, this fish uh, was, was captured on the east side of uh, Palau and uh, we're attaching a satellite tag to this. Uh, this is an adult yellowfin tuna. It's 140 centimeters long and uh, we're attaching the satellite tag so we can look at its movements and in and around Palau. Um, so to attach the satellite tag, we first are passing a metal needle through the base of the second dorsal fin, which is that long yellow one, uh, towards the back end of the fish. And we're passing some fishing line through that, um, through that, that metal, where that metal needle came through. Now the satellite tag um, is being uh, attached to the uh, fishing line and we're actually going to pull the fishing line back through the other side of the fish to kind of create a figure eight of a harness around that dorsal fin. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Melvin is here pouring water over the fish to keep it cool and we have a towel over its eyes to keep it calm. We also have a hose uh, providing water to the fish's gills. It's that ho black hose is in its mouth. Um, so now the, the satellite tag's pretty much attached, but we're just gonna crimp um, the fishing line to keep everything in place. And you can see the fish is in like a padded cradle. Um, so about, this is about as close as a fish will ever get to the ER room. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very stoked because it's very hard to catch these big tuna, big yellowfin. So now the crimping iron is coming out and we're crimping it and that's going to hold everything in place. And you can see that the fishing line is actually kind of creating a harness through and around that dorsal fin of the fish. And you can see he's kicking because he's alive and just kind of waiting. Now everything's attached, the tag's in place and we're good to let the fish go. So we're gonna remove the hose that's providing water and allowing it to breathe and getting every, all the tools out. Um, the fish is now in the sling and it's going back into the ocean. So there it goes and uh, it's swimming off and we'll hopefully hear from this fish in a year from now and we're going to find out its depth, temperature, and all of its locations every day for the, for the next year.